You can't even see the water. The clouds are completely covering it. The fog. They're some of the bigger islands. Down in the U.S. Some snow capped mountains back there. Hey everybody, Andy McDonald, the Maltese Falcon here. We're going to go out on a fun adventure today. We're going to go do a beach stealth camp on White Rock Beach. So it should be interesting. And uh, we're going to be taking this Mountain Warehouse pop-up three tent, uh, which I'm going to show to you guys before we get down there because we're probably going to arrive when it's dark. So we'll show it to you over here in the yard and uh, then we'll head down to the beach and have some fun. I hope you guys enjoy this and thanks for watching. I'm going to show you a tent, a pop-up tent, out here in the front yard before we get down there. This is the one we're going to use. But we're going in dark. So I wanted to just show you guys the uh, tent that we'll be using before we uh, get down there. And this is going to be an easy one to set up. Built-in pools. Simply take it out of its bag. And there it is. The Mountain Warehouse pop-up three tent. Three-person tent. Built-in pools. Double skin tent. And uh, very, very convenient in the fact that you don't require pegs to go in the ground, which it does come with pegs if you want to secure it for wind, etc. But it functions just on its own when you just pop it up out of the bag. The inner skin is completely black, nice and dark. Uh, pocket over here, some instructions. There's an inner tent and an outer fly, and it is detachable. Double door, venting, you can have the vent open. It's just a mesh, and then you got the outer, outer door to close it if it's raining. Uh, as far as venting goes, there's a vent at the back. Here's the back vent. The tent does come with some pegs and uh, four guy ropes. Uh, to tie it down. Step number one when you're doing a beach stealth is an important tip. You want to check to see what the ocean's doing as far as the tides, etc. So it's going down till 9.08 p.m. and then it comes up overnight and 5.30 it's back up again. So there's uh, very important when you're doing anything around the ocean. You want to know where and when those tides are happening for sure because you don't want to get caught up in Mother Nature. Okay, so down on Marine Drive, this just gives you an indication of what White Rock Hillside is like. It's the south side of a bluff onto the ocean. <clears throat> Been around for a long time. It used to, uh, it was used in the past for obviously log, logged out and then cabins, summer homes, that sort of thing. People from Vancouver would come out here on a train and uh, spend the weekend and just spend a, the day at the beach and so it's just a lovely area and we're so fortunate to uh, to have found it look even palm trees in Canada there you go down here at uh, Hollywood and Vine White Rock White Rock Beach. It's just a dusk. Sun is just setting. It's super crowded down here, so we're going to have to pick our spot and pick our time and make sure that everything is all lining up for stealth camping because there's a lot of people around here. This is super, super high 
occupancy area and uh, we don't want anyone to bust us with all of these uh, cars down here there's quite a significant police presence Royal Canadian Mounted Police are the uh, police force in White Rock so federal police they don't mess around boy you don't want to mess with those guys lots of people having fish and chips which is quite a common thing to do down in White Rock on the beach on a Saturday night for February this is extremely busy this is more the way it would be on a summer night but I think people wanted to get out it was 10 degrees above Celsius today so it brought lots of people down to the beach beautiful sunset tonight there's our ride thanks buddy good luck Thank you. We're using one of these disposable barbecues, one-use barbecues. It's the first time we've used one. So we're going to use this to cook our beautiful pork chops, which we're having tonight, and roasted peppers. So having a great time down here at the beach and uh, just about to have a beautiful dinner. Tomahawk pork chop and grilled peppers. Cheers, YouTube. Here's to the Stealth Camping Alliance. Having a delicious dinner on the beach here. And then we're going to go find a good spot to, you know what. Looking for a spot down on the beach. Just want a flat spot for our Mountain Warehouse pop-up three tent. We're just combing up and down the beach in the dark here. I guess we should have scoped it out during the day, but that's stealth camping. Okay guys, we found a good spot down here. Uh, it's fairly stealthy. I mean, we got to get out of here early in the morning anyway. Hopefully we're above the tide line. I think we are. So anyway, we'll get in the tent. This thing's blacked out so we can put all sorts of lights on inside the tent without being spotted uh, because it prevents the light from penetrating through the shell of the tent. So we want to get in there and get these lights off because there are, uh, let me just take this camera here. We've got houses all along, just above us. These huge mansions with the view of the ocean. So we're going to be getting a pretty good view too for free. Okay, I know the lighting's not very good, but there it is. Home for tonight. Set up. Took all of two seconds to set up. And uh, that's it. We're going to go inside and that's her. So we're going to get set up inside. Artwork right outside our, our tent door. Somebody's gone ahead and painted these rocks. Some different characters. There's the white rock lights along the beach about a quarter of a click 
back. We're not far down the beach. We didn't want to get too far. Not sure who you're going to run into down here. So we're still close to civilization for sure. And our phones are are connected. Let's just hope there's no border patrol flying over and checking out the beach for people stealth camping. Okay, so here we are in our mountain warehouse pop-up 310. Went up in two seconds. We're all set up in here and uh, gonna have a good night's sleep out here, hopefully. Okay, so it's uh, 25 to 12. I was just sitting out at the beach there, on the beach, looking at the stars and just thinking, wow, the stealth camping. I can't get over how it's really, really enhanced my life. Um, I was sitting around during that whole business and then somehow, uh, well, I know how, got turned on to stealth camping and uh, just having so much fun and uh, the director's coming out now on a few of these adventures and we're having a fun together and so anyway camp on stealth camping alliance and uh, well that's it for about that's all that's all I have to say for now so definitely we'll see you guys in the morning I'm feeling really tired now and I'm gonna just uh close my eyes and see if I can't get a you know just a few hours sleep I don't really sleep that well on the ground but I'm getting used to it it's been a long time since I was doing this stuff um, I did go to Hermit Island Maine and we had the time of our lives back in the early 80s and uh, we were tenting down there that was fun so I can relate my stealth camping experience to a line out of the movie Shawshank Redemption. You either get busy living or get busy dying. And uh, this camping is just helping me to get really busy living, so I really appreciate it. Okay, well, good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's just beautiful out there. That sunrise is incredible. And there's the pier. High tide was at 5.30, we're at about 7 o'clock or so. So it got within well, about 20 feet of our tent, so we were okay. I did keep one ear open all night listening to those waves to make sure we weren't going to be taken out to sea in the middle of the night. Shooting into the sun again. So this was us last night on the beach in our pop-up free tent. Right below all these houses. Along the ocean. Beautiful homes overlooking the Pacific Ocean. So just overall with regards to this Mountain Warehouse Blackout Pop-Up 310. Um, basically accommodated the two of us very nicely, very comfortably. 
Uh, moisture was not, we did not see any moisture inside of that tent due to the fact that it's a double skin tent and there's ventilation between the inner and outer skins. So overall, very good experience. Um, enjoyed it. Haven't slept on a beach in a while, so that was a lot of fun. And uh, had a beautiful sunrise, although we were completely dark in the tent uh, due to the fact that it's the blackout. The inner, the outer tent is a very thick material with black on the inside, so it protects uh, the occupant from uh, light. So you can sleep in if you'd like to. This is the fifth train that's come by. Early morning train. Just to give you an idea how close our tent was to the train tracks right there. It never ceases to amaze me the number of forts and stuff you see in this area made out of wood. So here we got uh, driftwood with some frost on it this morning. So I guess it did get down to uh, zero. And uh, a fort that's leaned up against it on one side and then just a configuration of pieces of driftwood of equal length it's quite a neat fort. A lot of them, they're all sticking all out everywhere. Now what you could do is just put a tarp over that uh, if you anchored it properly and you would be set to go. I'll show you the inside. I mean, not much more than a bivy bag and a sleeping bag, if that, and this one. This is a pretty small one, but you know, you can scale them up if you need to. I just always find it fascinating. Maltese Falcon, God, the Maltese Falcon. <laughs> There's the Maltese Falcon's partner in crime. We were camping way down at the far end there towards that point. Folk, and I sure hope you guys enjoyed that one. I mean, that was so fun down on the beach. Um, the tent worked out great, and that was for the first time and since I started stealth camping, I actually slept quite well. So, hope you guys like these videos. If you do, click the thumbs up button. Um, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So, we really enjoy making them, and we hope you guys are enjoying these. And stay tuned. Thanks very much. The Maltese Falcon out. Cheers.